How's it going everybody? Nikki D here, come on July Man yet again, and today we're gonna to be talking with the famous dating app, Christian Mingle. Don't go anywhere, you'll definitely wanna see this. So, a Christian Mingle dating app, uh, the the big Christian app, uh, has been uh, noted, to, no, I don't even know the word, but it is mentioned to me before, uh, and we have done a live stream on it where I did a quick just overview of the site and things that it had offered uh, all live, and then, of course, we're going to use that footage as we talk about it in a more in-depth review and just a little bit of an analysis. Um, so, what we're going to be talking about, as usual, is the app setup, um, some of the features that the site has, the subscription model, the reviews that come with it um, and just overall uh, honorable mentions that you would find. Now for this review though we're going to be using the uh, just the website uh, for this one but I do believe they do have an app there so uh, nice nice start anyway uh, and it doesn't end well. So yeah without any further ado uh, let's get into it. So yeah, the website, uh, when you go to sign in and make an account, uh, you're going to be uh, shown some things on the site, and one of them boasts about the amount of members they have. Now, it says they have about 15 million singles, uh, and that's supposedly worldwide. Now, I could believe that. That's uh, worldwide. That's probably a lot. Um, and they got links to just everything. Uh, I just literally don't even remember what it all is, but there was just links to just everything around. Uh, but some of those links actually uh, link over to other websites. Uh, so these will be talked about at some point, uh, but one of them was called J-Date and then Silver Singles, uh, obviously being Silver Singles for maybe someone of a little bit of an older demographic. Um, also on the main site, they've got success stories. Uh, so that's usually where they get, uh, you know, a man and a woman to, uh, you know, talk about how successful they were and meeting each other and, you know, how they're so happy they're together. Something like that. Um, I think it, I think it's always a bad sign when they have to put those on the main page because it really should just speak for itself rather than getting someone to do it for them. But again, we'll come into it as we go along. Uh, so yeah, so the account setup is pretty basic. Um, when you upload photos, you get a, a little uh, option to put additional information. So kind of like a prompt or something that you can write. Um, you can also fill out your religion, your church attendance. Uh, the interests you have are pretty generic, but you just pick from the, the choices. Um, and any pictures you upload go into like a pending review stage. And I actually don't mind that. Um, I don't remember how quick it was onto that, but yeah, they go into pending review and they're just going to sit there for a little while until someone, like, I, I think manually reviews them. Uh, but I could be wrong. That could be uh, an AI. So, obviously, things like nudity would be taken out. Something with explicit, um, you know, an explicit picture would not be allowed. Um, maybe some drugs or something, you know. Um, so, obviously, you want to keep it clean. Keep a clean dating site. Um, yeah, so the account setup was fine. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. Uh, it, 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 was, it was serviceable. Um, onto the app's uh, features. So you basically get a few tabs, and then within those tabs, you'll get a couple extra options. The, the main tabs include browse, uh, messaging, matches, activity, and help. Help is obviously just like your FAQs uh, and whatnot. Um, so browsing, underneath browse, you get a few categories as well. So you actually get the new category, online, distance, match percent, and lookbook. Uh, lookbook is basically the liking system. You just hit yes or no onto a person, you get a match, and then you can message them. Uh, it doesn't seem to give any other perk than that, uh, but they might just not come up in your matches. Like you might have had like a 0% match with them based on whatever they base that on. Um, yeah, and then you could you could see them there. Um, so new and online are pretty much the same thing. You just see like the newest accounts first online. You'll just see the online accounts first, um, and distance, of course, just the closest ones first. You can also just do those in your search preferences. So you do have some search preferences as usual, uh, like age, distance, religion, and relationship type, um, that you can look up some other things as well. So pretty basic on search preferences, but you get enough. Okay. Um, so yeah, again on browse, yeah, you get those, um, don't really need all of a tab to do that. You don't need each one to be its own little header, but uh, that's how they have it set up. So that's how we talk about it. Uh, so when you go to message someone, you're allowed to give them a smiley face for free. And in the activity page, you can actually see that uh, along with who you viewed, uh, who I viewed, and your likes, basically. Like who liked you, who, who you liked. Um, so not much going on there, uh, but it's fine. Uh, same as matches, obviously, it would be more from the lookbook. If you had a match, you could go there and see them. I didn't have any. 
Um, so not much to see. And then, of course, like I said, help is FAQs. That's fine. Search preferences, we've talked about. Not much. Luckily, there's nothing locked down. Like, it didn't It didn't have, like, a max distance. I had to pay for more. So that's fine. Uh, I'm not, again, I'm not going to complain. I think less is more sometimes. But the, uh, the big thing you're looking for is the subscription model. So let's talk about it. So the subscription model goes from a one-month to a six-month premium. Uh, there didn't seem to be anything less, and there didn't seem to be anything more. So you're basically locked into one of these two options. Uh, one of these three, sorry. Um, so the one-month option comes up to an outstanding $49.99 for the month. Uh, three months is $34.99 per month, which works out to about $104.99 a month, uh, or, or sorry, in total. And six months works out to $24.99 a month, which works out to, again, roughly $149.99 uh, for the entire subscription. That's a lot of money. Uh, one of the big things about paid dating sites, I really think, is they should go it, cheaper is better. Um, you know, having one month be $9.99 would be a huge difference. Um, you know, and I think you'd have a lot more people looking to pay for it because, hey, that's not too bad. And you'd probably actually make more money by having just, a, a, like, even like $14.99 for one month. I think that would be pretty reasonable, right? And then just have it again, like the 12 month, the six month work down to like, you know, $9.99 a month or something, right? Th that would be more reasonable to me rather than $24.99 for a month. That's a lot. Uh, so the features you might be asking, what do we get with that? So you get uh, access to photos. So you can see people's photos, but you only see the first photo. You don't see all of them. Uh, messaging, read receipts, who liked you, who viewed you. Profile display controls, it didn't elaborate too much on that, but if it did, I can't remember if it did, but if it does, I'll put it on screen. Uh, you can browse in secret, so if someone won't see who you, uh, who, like if you viewed them, I guess. And you get messaging plus. Now, Messaging Plus is funny. It's actually a paid feature on most sites that's an additional payment. Uh, but this one seems to be included. So what Messaging Plus does is means you can message anybody on the site, no matter what, and whoever they are, no matter what their membership is, they can respond to you. Okay, so they can view your message and respond to it. And I assume it highlights it to some degree so they know that. So if I'm a free member and I get a Message Plus come in, like I, I get someone who has Message Plus, um, I can respond to them. And I don't have to pay for it. So it's supposed to increase your chances because a lot of people are going to sign up to this site like me and then not pay. They're going to be like, eh. So if you got a message and you're like, oh, I can respond for free, they would respond. So not bad that it's included with it. Uh, but again, I, I yeah. Uh, extras that you can upgrade, uh, extra things just on the site, sorry, uh, but that you can't upgrade for. And I mainly just have one point I want to talk about. So in the settings, in your account settings, there's something like you can, uh, play around. I was looking at how to delete the account actually. And I stumbled across, um, how you can upgrade your account with spotlight, which they surprisingly don't show in other places. I actually had to dig for this. So this is interesting. So you can do this by up again, spotlighting your account. Like it's more, uh, it's more seen across the site. So 30 days of this is $14.99. Um, seven days is for $6.99. And then one is for $2.99. And then after that, I was able to delete the account with, with literally no issue. I just clicked the button, said yes, and I was gone. Um, yeah, no pro, no uh, password check or anything. Uh, so yeah, so the, the spotlight seems to be like actually interesting to me that they've kind of hidden it uh, away. Overall so thoughts on the site before we get into the reviews on my experience alone. Um, there wasn't that many profiles there. There was probably a couple dozen at tops um, that were anywhere near me. A lot of them like aren't really that close. Like it'd be like in the province, but it's like, again, like the girl's going to be hours away, um, which is just, again, pretty unrealistic to try to figure out a like for a date, right? You're just not, most people aren't going to do it. Yeah. The site itself didn't have that many exciting features. Like, again, I like when something has, like, a forum board or something, right? Like, just anything at all that's kind of, um, that's innovative, right? That's something cool, that's different, um, you know? And, again, this just follows the suit that all of them do, and, and there's just nothing about it that stood out to me. Um, again, supposedly the idea is, like, the, oh, like, you're gonna find a Christian lady. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, a lot of the profiles were very much, like, again, looking at some of the profiles, you don't get a lot of information. You get a very basic view of them when you look at them, but you get to see them at least. And one of them was, I was pretty sure, like, my love of God, be, like, is more than anything in this world or something. And it's like, wow, okay, like, I've clearly found some really dedicated people. Um, and that's cool. That's fun. Uh, so going into the reviews, um, again, there are, as you would probably envision, uh, extremely fake. 
uh, or extremely fake, extremely uh, aggressive. So the top positive review is titled, its name is deceptive, it's not Christian dating, and then his first line says zero activity level. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Uh, another one is top critical review, so like a one star, is 95% fake profiles. And let's start with that one. So Christian Mingle was a horrible experience for me. There's 95% of them are fake profiles, one picture, often with sunglasses, and a short profile. Um, not much information, 34-year-olds that would marry a 75-year-old, bad spelling, and immediately want to leave the site and have your phone number, and I got a refund. Um, I actually don't always think that the whole idea of getting off the site right away is a bad thing, but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, take your money, but doesn't supply. Save your money and don't fall victim to the Christian um, in its name. No way to cancel in 48 hours like you should be able to. Scammers galore. One asked me to send him a 300 Amex card, old profiles for matches that haven't been active in years. That's often a, a common problem as well. A lot of these sites, they just will like deactivate their profile or they just will like log out and not log back in. Uh, and unfortunately, what will happen a lot of the time is their profile will just stay inactive. It'll just stay on the site, right? And then guys will sign up or women uh, and message them and, and they get nowhere. Complete scam and waste of money. Complete scam and waste of money. He just copies and pastes it. Uh, troll scammers, 10 people within my demographics, save your money. I canceled less than 24 hours in no refunds available. Do yourself a favor and go to church and find someone. It's pretty good advice. Actually, uh, horrible dating app, horrible technology with crazy slow loading times features many users who are no longer active, giving the dishonest impression that there are plenty of people to meet plenty of scammers. Also stay away. Uh, let's go one more here. Uh, okay, I'll go a couple more. Uh, money grabbing. I don't think I ever interacted with a real person that I was trying to meet. The site has symbols that you can press to show your type of interest, but when you message a person, as I did multiple times with multiple people, you never get a response on how to meet or exchange telephone numbers. Out of all the messages that I sent, I would expect at least one response from someone. The site doesn't want you to meet, or you wouldn't need them uh, anymore. You would just want to keep. You would just keep paying. Um, okay, so last one. Last one, this is the one we kind of we read the first line. Zero activity level from the deceptive one. I chose jfordating.com. Uh, I think that's the company that owns it. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm getting a lot of contacts there. A uh, lot of got a contacts there and enjoy my connection. I can't even talk and enjoy my communication with beautiful ladies. Now I'm at the point of making a big and important decision, following my heart and choosing my one and only woman. Yay. Okay. Uh, so my experience with Christian Mingle was very poor. I'm an average looking 43 year old man with good income. I sent 80 letters and I got one response. If you value your time and self-respect, just use a bigger and more popular dating site and search for a Christian woman there. Christian Mingle is not a true dating site. It's a big scam. Don't believe its name. It's, it's a typical scam site, a giant and evil money-making machine with mostly fake profiles and catfishers. Um, yeah, so again, I don't read these in any particular, like, order other than top to bottom, like, just the most recent. Um, and again, these were, like, April, March, February, right, that these were being reviewed. Uh, so yeah, overall thoughts, like I said, on the site, um, yeah, I, that's a big, that's a big thing. It's just, like, a lot of these sites that, like... I'll start going for, they've got big names, but that's the problem, right? A lot of them are just these empty, empty webs like websites with like, um, just these dead profiles that, you know, are never going to be around. And if they are, it's a miracle. And then people will spend money to try to message these profiles thinking they're going to be around and they're not, they're, they're not around. They're, they're completely gone. There's nothing happening. So I don't know. There we go. Christian Mingle. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate that. Uh, we will see you in the next video and hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you want to recommend a dating app, let me know and we will take a look into it for you. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thanks for watching you pencil pushers. If you guys want to check out my Instagram here, I've just got it in the background. It's Nick Daniels photography with an underscore in between each word where I uh, post every day. That's a lie. Thanks for watching. Peace.